Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jessica. And today on my channel, I'm gonna make some stuffed chicken breast for dinner. So I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Also, I'm gonna make a pistachio pie using graham cracker crust, quick and easy. So here we go. Okay. I'm dropping everything today. Bear with me. Okay. I am going to use, I went shopping at a store called Meyer. I don't know if everybody has a store, Meyer here in the United States, you know, in the state that they live in, but we have a Meyer store here and it's kind of like a Walmart, but um, not 100% like a Walmart. Anyway, so I've got some chicken breasts here, and these are the chicken breast with rib meat. I got these, honestly, because they were cheaper than the other chicken that I had seen. I'm going to open this chicken up here. I've got my cutting board so that I can get all these pieces off. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see but I got these pieces that I I don't like to keep on So, that all that's off. I'm just going to take my knife, and these aren't really thick, but they aren't really thin. You can actually cut a slit in them and cut them in, in half. So, I'm going to take my knife at the back of the chicken, and I'm going to hold the top and hold my fingertips up, hold my fingertips up, and I'm just going to slice right down the middle carefully and evenly and then pull it back and I have made it's not perfect <clears throat> but I have made a pocket in the chicken <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna sit that right back in here and then I'm going to continue to do these up and then move on to the next step. take my chicken and I'm going to give it a good rinse off in the sink and then this pile here of all the trimmings from the chicken I'm going to put in the freezer for my chicken broth that I plan on hoping hoping to make in the future I have not yet I still haven't I guess we'll see so time to rinse
Okay, I'm gonna get out my cake pan and line it with parchment paper. Now this parchment paper is going to help my chicken to not stick uh, when it's done cooking and also it's going to make my cleanup easier on me. Sometimes, sometimes parchment paper is a headache to try and keep in the pan before you get the stuff in there but well worth it in the end. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this bowl here and my two packs of Philadelphia cream cheese. They were on sale. I'm going to throw them into my bowl. Package is giving me a problem today. There we go. If you've ever made stuffed chicken, throw it down in the comments how you've made your stuffed chicken. Like what did you put inside? Now before I have did the uh, cream cheese along with some peppers and onions. But today we're not doing that one. We are going to add some, some diced green onions, and this is Meyer. Meyer diced them up for us, and they put them on the shelf, make it easier. Cut down some of that prep time. I love green onions. And take care of these real quick. I almost forgot the ham. So I'm basically making this um, stuff that I'm going to stuff inside the chicken. I'm making it almost like I make my cheese ball. The only difference is I'm not going to add shredded cheese. So I'm just gonna lay out my ham. I'm not gonna lay it out, I'm just gonna lay it on my cutting board. And this all is gonna be touching the chicken, so I'm not gonna worry about cross-contamination with it sitting next to the chicken because it's getting stuffed inside the chicken anyway. cut up just cutting it into strips then I'm gonna dice that's it 
get a spoon and mix it all up. I'm going to use a rubber spatula, see if this will mix it. Nope. Not strong enough. I even sat the cream cheese out so that it can soften up more. Just gonna get a regular tablespoon here. You know what, I'm just gonna go on with my hands. It's for my house anyway. Okay, time to grab my chicken. So I'm going to just, hang on, <laughs> I gotta move the ham. I used my arms, not my hands. I don't want to touch that container after touching this chicken. Just want to grab some, almost like a handful, and press it down in the middle. And smush. You can add more if you need. And this is what it looks like. Back side, front side. You can see all of that goodiness in there. I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll wrap them in bacon. have this Oscar Mayer and honestly I don't usually buy Oscar Mayer but they were um, over three dollars off today at Meyer. so what you're gonna want to do is lay your bacon out. And I say probably two or three pieces each. Just depending on the size of the chicken. And just fold it over. And fold, you fold the first part over and then under that part, you wanna bring down the other side of your bacon under that. Not on top of the bacon you had already folded over. I think two pieces of bacon for this chicken is enough. I might have to open another um, package of bacon. I'm not sure yet. Because there's some huge pieces of chicken in here. Like this one. It's huge. You want to make sure that your chicken is laying in the middle of the slice of bacon and that it's at the top of the chicken. 
fold one side over, take the other one and fold it over underneath that piece of bacon. You want the bacon to be on the chicken as evenly as possible. top of my chicken I'm gonna put some seasonings on it you can put your seasonings on your chicken before you wrap it in bacon but I'm gonna just put it over the top of the bacon take care of my mess real quick okay first I'm gonna go in with some salt now remember the bacon will be salty so I'm not gonna to add too much salt to this And I'm just using the pink, the pink Himalayan salt. Then I'm going to go in with McCormick garlic powder and lightly coat this. And next, I'm going to go in with Stone Mill Italian Seasoning. You want to give that a generous coating. Just kind of on the top there. It don't have to be perfect. And then dust it with some onion powder. I have some fine onion powder here from Members Mark. I'm just going to dust it with this. Kind of gives it more of the onion kick. It may look like a lot, but it's not. It's onion powder. If you like the taste of onion, you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to throw this in my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For 40 minutes and then I'm going to use my thermometer to check the temp inside. Okay, on to my next recipe. This is going to be the side dish uh, with my stuffed chicken. So I have Meyer sweet corn, just a bag of it of frozen sweet corn. Okay, I've got an onion here. I've got my peppers and my mayonnaise. So this is going to be a corn salad using chili cheese Fritos. And the base of the salad, obviously, is corn. I'm gonna dump my corn in this little mixing bowl here. I'm gonna get my veggies chopped up.
peppers are all cut up, so I'm going to throw these in the bowl with the corn. I used the multicolor pack, as you just seen, and they aren't the big, uh, normal size peppers. Actually, they were picked early um, because I've seen a lot of those little baby bulbs inside. So they weren't as big, they were smaller. Okay, on to the onion. Do the same with this as you did with your peppers, just dice it up. You don't have to add onions if you don't like onions. set my timer on the oven. Now to this, you're going to want to add about a cup, a cup and a half of mayonnaise, real mayonnaise, not salad dressing, not Miracle Whip, real mayo. You can just eyeball it. You can add more if you feel that you need to add more. Now to add my corn chips. So these are Fritos with chili cheese and they are Frito brand corn chips. I'm going to add about half a bag. Stir those in. We can't really stir them in but pick up and fold over. Time to try and see if it needs anything else. A little bit of everything in there. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
That's sweet corn. You want to try a bite, baby? These add a burst of flavor. So you can put this in your refrigerator and uh, kind of let everything sit and melt together. Put it in for an hour, two hours, all day if you want. It don't really matter. Sit it in there overnight. Probably best the other day, you know, the next day. Um, now, the corn chips that you put in here, they will be soggy if you let them sit in the refrigerator for over an hour. But that's why you save the other half of the bag. Because when you go to eat it or serve it, you can add more. And when you add more, that's your crunchy flavor, that or that's your... That's your crunchy texture. Okay, I think it's uh, time for dessert. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Alrighty then. Alright. <clears throat> this is one pound of Cool Whip. It don't even feel like a pound. Graham cracker crust. Now we're making pistachio pie. Pistachio fluff pie. and want to come off. Take a bowl. Dump the whole thing. Now I have Jell-O brand pistachio pudding, and it's just a small one ounce box. You can get a bigger box if you'd like. Pour it all in. <clears throat> Add one cup of whole milk. So that's what I'm doing. You can use whatever milk you want, but I'm gonna do whole milk. One cup. Pour it right over the top. Stir it up carefully. Don't splatter everywhere. I mean, you can if you want, but you're the one cleaning it up. my whisk. Time to taste. You want to taste? Want to taste? No.
I think I should have bought a bigger box of pistachio pudding to put in it. I can taste the pistachio, but I can't. It's not dominant. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> they will eat it. <laughs> okay, so you want to take your mixture and dump it inside your graham cracker crust. This is Keebler graham cracker crust. And this is at the large graham cracker crust. Oh no, she's popping off. That's all right. I'm just gonna have to clean up the mess when I'm done. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> the real life. I knew it would be too much. Oh, what a mess. So yeah, don't put too much. you would be dealing with a mess. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and put it in the refrigerator. It's gonna sit there until my dinner is done. <laughs>